Hey, welcome back. How was it? It was amazing. Want to see some photos? Uh, yeah, of course. Cool. I'll send them over now. Great. See you at lunch. I'm sorry, but nobody has time to browse your 689 travel photos. Not these days. I know, it's harsh, but true. And besides, there are better ways. Let's make a photo video. That way, you can show the best bits, include video and music, all in a few minutes. Hi, I'm Debbie, a case studies coordinator here at Canva. In this world of diminishing attention spans, how do we get our photos viewed? Enter Canva's Photo Video Maker. Let me share how you can create stunning and shareworthy photo videos with your mobile device. Before we get to that, have you subscribed to Canva's channel yet? We upload videos every week full of all design tips and tricks. The best thing, they're taught by people working right here at Canva, like me. So hit that subscribe button now. I know you want to. So here are the facts. Facebook videos receive up to three times more views than other formats. On Instagram, organic video posts get 38% more engagement than images. So you have lots of photos. Let's turn that problem into a photo video solution. It's like an upgraded slideshow that gives you room to tell stories and add design elements and audio as well. Maybe you have photos from a wedding, or you're selling a house, or you just want to wish someone a happy birthday. Canva has about 4,500 photo video templates ready to go, completely customizable. It's so easy, you can even edit this on the go. Say you want to make a photo video of a recent beach holiday. First, let's go to the Canva app home and tap on video. Below, you'll see different social media formats. Choose YouTube video. It's a nice, easy size that looks good on desktop and mobile. There are so many nice templates here. Let's choose blank. Now, let me just quickly upload our photos in the upload section. To insert our photos, tap the canvas, tap on replace. That takes us directly to the uploads. Let's choose this for our title page. Okay, now double tap this photo. That brings up the crop tool. Drag it a bit until it's properly centered. And we'll do the same for the other pages. Add another page by dragging all the way to the left. To navigate between your pages, all you have to do is swipe left or right. Isn't it easy? Okay, I think everything looks good now. Let's preview by tapping on the play icon. This looks pretty good to me. Perfect if you just need something simple and quick. Okay, let's take this to the next level by adding elements and transitions. Let's start on this page. Tap on plus and then text. Add a text box. Type in what you want to say. Change the size like this. The color like this. I'm going to add an effect called background. Change the background color here. And hit shape and choose curve. Tap it again and you can adjust the severity of the curve. Slide this way to invert it. Nice. Okay, let me quickly do the same for the other pages. Now, this is a little more exciting, but with Canva, you have a huge library of graphics waiting to be used. So let's use them. Hit plus symbol, choose elements, search here. Choose graphics only here. Wow, there's a lot. If you see one you like, 
you can tap and hold and then choose See More Like This. This will give you a selection that is similar. Great for quickly starring ones you want to use later. By tapping and holding, you can also see who created the graphic here. Perfect if you want to follow a creator and use more of their style. Okay, I'll quickly go through and add some more graphics on the pages. So, this is starting to come together, but let's get some movement in there. Adding animation to your elements and pages is easy. Watch this. Tap the background of a page and scroll across to animate. I'll choose Fun. That looks great. You'll see here that I could apply to all pages. A real time saver when you need to do things quickly. If you want to change just one element, just select it and you'll now be able to choose a unique animation. Swipe that menu down and you'll see the timeline at the bottom. Notice the little plus symbol in between the pages. Tap that and choose Transition button. These all do slightly different things. Play around until you find something you like. I'm just adding a bunch of different ones so you can see how it looks. when we hit the play button. Nice. It's feeling good, but it needs one final thing. Yep, it's time for some music. First, make sure your slider is on the first page or wherever you want your music to start. Then tap on the plus icon and then audio. There are lots of free tracks here, as well as ones reserved for subscribers. See the crown? That means you've got to have a Pro or Canva for Teams account or be signed up for a 30-day free trial. Just tap the play button here to hear a preview. When you find the one you want, tap the name and it will appear on your timeline. Here you can move it around, shorten it, if the song is longer than your video, you can choose the piece of audio you want by tapping Adjust and then sliding the waveform along like this. Fade in the music like this. You know, I think I want to start off with some beach sounds, waves and seagulls. Search for sound effects and then add them the same way. Move it to the front. Adjust the music so it comes in over the top. Okay, let's preview. That makes me want to go on a holiday. Where is everyone watching from? Where should I visit on my next trip? Aww, thanks for the recommendations. I've actually never been to Bangalore. I'm adding that to the list. Okay, back to the task at hand. What else could you use a photo video for? Oh, this is one that businesses need. Safety videos. Start on the homepage, choose a template. Let's get something professional looking, like this. Replace this with the company logo and then write our title. I'll then insert the photos in the right order. Let's adjust them so they all have the same look. Yep, this looks good. To save time, let's just imagine I recorded the most amazing voiceover. Simply click share to download your file or share a view only link. This is what people will see when they click on the link. That is so much more fun and interesting than browsing through a series of photos, right?
I'm running out of time. But hopefully you can see how easy it is to create many different types of photo videos. Say you wanted to promote a new product on Instagram. Following these instructions, you can quickly make a reel just using photos you snapped in the shop. Because of Canva, this little device becomes a powerful video editing machine that can add animation, music, and text. Isn't that mind-blowing? Write your questions in the comments, and we'll be happy to answer them as soon as possible. Oh, hi, you're still here, editing my third photo video now. Turns out, this can be addictive. Or should I say, Canva addictive? Okay, forget I said that. If this tutorial helped you, you might want to check out our playlist. We've got lots of helpful tutorials ready to watch. In fact, here's one about photo books with Tammy that might go well with what you just watched. And don't forget to like and subscribe. There are some amazing things coming that we don't want you to miss. See you, have fun editing, and once in a while, don't forget to stretch.